11 months ago at the launch of our campaign in Oakland, I told you all that I am not perfect, but I will always speak with decency and moral clarity and treat all people with dignity and respect, that I will lead with integrity and I will speak the truth. And so that's what I've tried to do every day of this campaign. And here's the truth today. I've taken stock and I've looked at this from every angle. And over the last few days, I have come to one of the hardest decisions of my life. So here's the deal, guys. Um, my campaign for president simply does not have the financial resources to continue and the financial resources we need to continue. I'm not a billionaire. I can't fund my own campaign. And as the campaign has gone on, it has become harder and harder to raise the money we need to compete. In good faith, I cannot tell you, my supporters and volunteers, that I have a path forward if I don't believe I do. So to you, my supporters, my dear supporters, it is with deep regret, but also with deep gratitude that I am suspending our campaign today. But I wanna be clear with you, I am still very much in this fight and I will keep fighting every day for what this campaign has been about justice for the people, all the people. Our campaign has been about fighting for people whose voices have not been heard or are too often ignored, and we will keep up that fight. Let's remember, we were the first to put the injustice of inadequate teacher pay on the national agenda, and we will certainly keep up that fight. We were the first to demand justice for our children, declaring we would take bold executive actions to stop gun violence. We will keep up that fight. We were the first to demand justice for women with a plan to block unconstitutional state abortion laws. We will keep up that fight. And our campaign uniquely spoke to the experiences of black women and people of color and their importance to the success and the future of this party. Our campaign demanded no one should be taken for granted by any political party. We will keep up that fight because no one should be made to fight alone. And I believe our campaign showed every child in America, regardless of their color or gender, that there are no limits to who can lead and hold positions of power in our country. In that way, this campaign has been so much bigger than me. So I'm extremely grateful to the hundreds of staff who have moved and uprooted your lives and sacrificed time away from your families. I know our fight has been personal for each one of you. And I could not have done this without my husband, Doug, and my entire family and friends who gave up so much to embark on this journey with me and have supported me every step of the way. And I am grateful to the thousands of volunteers and contributors who have chipped in, who have knocked on doors, who have made calls, and who have put their faith and trust in me. It has been the honor of my life to be your candidate. And I want to be clear, although I am no longer running for president, I will do everything in my power to defeat Donald Trump and fight for the future of our country and the best of who we are. And I know you will too. So let's do that together. Let's keep fighting for the America we believe in, an America free of injustice, an America that we know can be unburdened by what has been. Thank you guys.